What is up guys and girls? Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to set up your XLR microphone with FL Studios. Uh, the price of these things, or the total price that I came out with was $260 to get all this uh, brand new, but you can also save by buying things used. I'll leave a link to everything down below if you wanna check that out, uh, new and used prices. So first thing we have here is our microphone. This is a Audio-Technica AT2020, and it's an XLR mic along with the Behringer UMC202 HD. Uh, it has two ports, and this is like the cheapest interface you can get, and also sounds really good. They make a uh, one, one slot version or one channel version of this, but uh, that's terrible because the drivers suck. Now we have our uh, Audio-Technica's ATH M30Xs. These are studio monitor headphones, and uh, they're about like 60 bucks, 70 bucks, brand new. Uh, so you need headphones, and the headphones also come with this, which is a TRS, I think one third jack, whatever. But it's a big, uh, big auxiliary cable, basically, and you just put it in here so you can hear yourself um, talk on the microphone. So yeah, this is the price that I came up with. If you can see, it is $259, uh, and that's all the prices, uh, brand new. And then last thing we have here is a uh, XLR cable that you need. Now also, what I have here is an accessory that is called a uh, arm mount or desk mount, whatever, one and two. You can buy one of those cheap for like 20 bucks. But yeah, now I'm gonna show you how to set these things up and I'll be right back. <clears throat> All right, so here we are. This is our interface that we're gonna be using to connect our microphone to our PC. And what comes in the box with this uh, interface is a USB cable and you just connect that to the back and that's connected to your computer. Also, you need drivers for this. Uh, I'll, I'll be showing you how to get the drivers after I show up how to set it up like physically. Uh, next thing you need to do is connect the microphone. So you need to connect this part, I guess the, the male part, into the first channel uh, or slot, whatever. You connect that there, and then you wanna make sure you turn on 48 volts to power up your microphone, which will be in the back of the interface. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but here it is. You wanna make sure you turn this switch on and that's it for that so now the other part right here this is i guess the female part that goes connected to your microphone so here's my microphone here's a little port or xlr port and then you just connect this to your microphone and that's about it and now we're going to plug in our headphones so here's our headphones and here is the standard auxiliary port or auxiliary cable uh input and then you have that little adapter that comes with the, the headset. So you need to screw this on and then you connect it into the front of the audio interface, which will be right here. You gotta connect this in right there. Okay, and that's it. That's all the physical requirements that we gotta do uh, when installing our hardware. And now we'll move on to the PC part where we're gonna enable our drivers and show you how to set it up in FL Studios. Also, I forgot to mention, uh, last thing I wanna tell you, uh, whenever you're, whenever you're uh, setting up your mic levels, uh, you always wanna have it at a, low, at a low point because you can always boost this up inside uh, FL Studios without getting the noise, rather than if you have it high, it's gonna be capturing the noise in real time already. So leave it low, leave it low uh, signal volume and uh, that'll reduce the noise that your microphone picks up. All right, so now we're on Behringer's website for the interface. Uh, all you wanna do, or I'll just leave a link to, uh, to the website so you can get the drivers yourself. Um, and this is for Windows only. Uh, sadly, this doesn't work for Mac. But there are other interfaces that you can get, such as a Scarlett uh, Focusrite, and this should work for Mac, but I'll, I'll leave all the links for that down below. So back to our drivers. The drivers that I have installed for my uh, interface is Windows Driver 4.38. These are ASIO compatible drivers, uh, and they also help you get the lowest delay possible whenever you're recording and you can hear yourself with all the effects on and it's gonna be uh, like not delayed at all, pretty much. So you gotta go ahead and just download these drivers, install them, and now we'll jump into FO Studios. So here it is, here's FO Studios. 
Now you gotta go to options. All right, so here we are in FL Studios. Now you wanna go to options, go to audio settings. Okay, so here we are in audio settings. Uh, you see the device is at FL Studios ASIO. We don't wanna use that because the smallest delay that you can have on there for buffer length, that's, that's what it's called, is uh, six milliseconds. And whenever you're recording, you actually hear yourself delayed and it messes up your flow, your off tempo, your off beat. And that's the problem that you wanna avoid by changing the buffer length down. And you can't, as you can see, uh, the smallest buffer length you can get is 256 which means six milliseconds basically uh so now we're gonna go to devices and once you install those drivers that i told you to download it's gonna be called umc asio drivers so we click that and then we go to buffer length see i already set mine up so it's at three mil milliseconds okay so here we are with the umc audio drivers now we see our buffer length is that it's probably gonna be at a higher uh, millisecond than mine is because i already set mine up but just press show asio panel and now you want to set your buffer settings to 128 samples set it to safe mode uh, and that's pretty much it. That's all you gotta do and you'll get uh, one, you'll get three millisecond response time. Or you can try and set it down to 32 and it'll be at one millisecond, but you're more than likely to have glitches. So I set it at a safe area of uh, extent 64, which would be two milliseconds or 128 samples which would be three milliseconds and that's what I set mine to. And all that's there, that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's how you set up your uh, interface with FO Studios and you also have that most smallest delay. I don't know how to talk. But uh, yeah, after that, we want to set up our microphone in FO Studios, right? So we go to make sure it's not on Master Track because a lot of people record on the Master Track and the Master Track has all the audio from uh, what you're playing like the instrumental and everything else so everything else will be captured in the mastered audio and you don't want to do that you want to select a separate insert channel for your microphone so this will be our microphone right here so make sure you select insert one or any other insert you could you could choose whatever but not master track i'm gonna record on these inserts right here so we're on insert number one go over here to where it says uh, none and it's gonna say umc asio drivers mono and you want to click input one and now as we see here whenever we're talking the microphone's picking it up and yeah it's not going to be delayed and you can also apply any like effects and all that and you can hear them real time and it's not going to mess you up when recording so what i like to have first on here is just auto tune so our first plugin will be auto tune and the second plugin what we have here is will be uh ns1 mono so here's ns1 mono actually we'll put this one on top of our auto tune so we have ns1 mono first and auto tune second and last but not least we just set low latency mode on our auto tune so we are not delayed like i said and yeah just pick the key of the song the scale which is major or minor and that's it you're set up ready to go for making music Cash, baby, got the beat time. Baby, baby. 